Hurricane Dorian was the most notable weather disaster of the year, but that's not the only record-breaking weather event we saw in 2019. From tornadoes to floods, CNN's Daryl Forges has a look back at some of the year's top weather stories. Howling winds, catastrophic flooding, and indescribable destruction. In September, one of the year's worst weather events battered the Bahamas. Hurricane Dorian first made landfall on the Abaco Islands as a 185 mile per hour Category 5. Then, just hours later, Dorian made its second landfall on Grand Bahama and stalled. Fierce winds lashed the island for nearly 24 hours. Where I was staying, the roof caved in, the wall caved in. Homes and businesses were wiped off their foundations or splintered like toothpicks. The storm surge and relentless rain led to devastating and deadly flooding. It came over the roof. I would imagine 21 feet at least. Howard Armstrong survived the storm, but his wife did not. Then she just drowned on me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know. Just days later, Hurricane Dorian has its sights set on North Carolina. And on September 6th, the storm made landfall over Cape Hatteras at a 90 mile per hour category one. But its effects were felt all across the Carolinas. What? High winds, down power lines in Charleston, South Carolina, kicked up violent surf along the coast and spawned a couple of tornadoes, including this one near Wilmington, North Carolina. It was so fast. I remember hearing a loud noise. Next thing I know, the trailer started shaking. According to Google Trends, Hurricane Dorian is the most searched news story of 2019. Also in September. The most wild thing I have ever seen. Tropical Storm Imelda dumped heavy flooding rains across parts of South Texas. Just about every road in Winnie is flooded right now. The storm formed near the Texas coast and made landfall an hour and a half later. As it slowly moved inland, Imelda inundated towns, prompting water rescues and road closures and caused rivers to rise and overflow their banks. Several barges on the San Jacinto River broke free with one slamming into a bridge along Interstate 10 and two becoming lodged underneath. According to the National Weather Service, Harris County received more than 15 inches of rain, while some areas in nearby Jefferson County picked up more than three and a half feet. In the spring, severe storms produced numerous damaging tornadoes. Between late April and late May, there were 500 reports of tornadoes across 22 states, including Ohio, Oklahoma, and Missouri, and Kansas. It sounded like a freight train going over. Tens of thousands of people were left in the dark, and dozens of homes were damaged or destroyed. It felt like some hail or something, and my husband looked up and he said, well, we don't have a roof anymore. May of 2019 set a record with tornadoes reported for 14 consecutive days. And in Northern California. They're very erratic. They haven't calmed down much. Hurricane force wind gusts helped fuel the Kincaid fire in Sonoma County. Flames erupted in late October and quickly spread, making the blaze hard to contain. We just can't keep ahead of it. The massive fire raged for nearly two weeks near Geyserville, prompting thousands of people to leave their homes. The Kincaid fire charred nearly 78,000 acres and destroyed more than 300 structures. They'll rebuild and it's just heartbreaking for them, you know, to lose everything. I, I couldn't imagine. I'm Daryl Forges reporting. Ed, I just have the top five weather events according to the Billings National Weather Service office listed out all in front of me. Number one was the snow and very cold in February and March of this year, which was quite a while ago, so it's easy to forget about that. Number two was the uh, hail events happening in Billings back in August. The May flooding, flash flooding uh, is number three. Number four is the dense fog at the Billings Airport earlier this month. And then number five is the October cold snap. Oh, yeah. It seems were, like so long ago, everything, but. Well, I think a lot yeah, of people year. are going to hang on to the idea that last year we started off with these mild conditions and then it turned into that very cold and snowy period that we had. So yeah. now we're still ending the year fairly mild. It's similar to where we were this, this time last year.